compute the indefinite integral of 2x plus 1 times e to the 3x dx. Now notice that this is a product of two very simple functions, an algebraic function and an exponential, which suggests that integration by parts, a choice of u and dv, would be a good choice here. Now what should we pick? Well, notice that the first bit right here is algebraic, the 2x plus 1, and this bit is an exponential. So we should let u be the algebraic bit, and we should let uh, dv be the exponential bit. So u will be 2x plus 1, and dv will be e to the 3x, and then a dx. Now we'll differentiate the u term to get du dx is equal to 2, or if we multiply through by dx, du is equal to 2 dx. And now we'll integrate the dv term. And so we'll get the integral of dv is v, and the integral of e to the 3x will be 1 third e to the 3x. And we're just going to ignore the plus c's for right now. Now we can use the integration by parts formula. Notice that our original integral takes the form of the integral of a u term times dv. And so according to integration by parts, this is the same thing as u times v minus the integral of v times the differential du. So now let's just substitute in what we've got. u is equal to 2x plus 1. v is 1 third e to the 3x. And we're going to subtract the integral of v again. So we'll have 1 third e to the 3x times the differential du, which is just 2 dx. So let's clean this up and see what we've got here. We've got um, 1 third times 2x plus 1 quantity times e to the 3x. And we're going to be subtracting the integral of 2 thirds e to the 3x dx. So let's copy this information down here, the 1 third 2x plus 1 times e to the 3x. And now if we integrate this, 2 thirds comes along for the ride, and the antiderivative is going to be 1 third e to the 3x. Cleaning this up one more time, we get 1 third uh, times 2x plus 1 times e to the 3x minus 2 ninths e to the 3x. There's one antiderivative, and here would be all of the antiderivatives. And this is a completely acceptable place to leave it. But it is worth pointing out that this could be cleaned up a little bit. And so we'll do some optional cleanup up here. So here's the work. Now notice that there's an e to the 3x in both of these terms. So it can be pulled out to the front. Also, given the choice of a 1 3rd and a 1 9th, if we pull out a 1 9th, we'll be able to introduce integers in everything that's left over. Notice that we're going to take, uh, have a 3 left over for the first piece times the 2x plus 1. And we'll have a 2 left over in the second piece. And so if we clean this up, we have 1 9th e to the 3x times the expression 6x plus 3 minus 2. Now I've just rearranged those terms. One more round of cleanup. We get 1 9th times 6x plus 1 times e to the 3x plus the integration constant. And there's a more simplified version of our antiderivative. Either are acceptable.